Hey everybody, this is Jeff from DM Gaming. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for clicking this video. For our next series, we'll be playing this game called Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, created by Capcom when they decided to try their hand at creating a western style RPG a few years ago. Think Monster Hunter across a um, Elder Scrolls game from Bethesda, and this is what you get. Now this game features an intricate combat system and an interesting online system. It doesn't have co-op in the traditional sense, what it has instead is an AI companion that you can create in-game, which can be sent out to and brought back from other players' games. Whatever experience, whatever knowledge, whatever gifts that your pawn receives in another player's game gets brought back to you. What that means is, if your pawn goes out to another player's game, and that player goes to an area you haven't been to yet, or goes to a quest that you haven't done yet, when that pawn comes back to you, and you start doing that, that quest, or you go to that area, your pawn will be able to comment on things like monster's weaknesses, or maybe useful items, useful chests, and stuff like that, which is a system that's kind of interesting and I haven't seen done since. So without further ado, this is Capcom's Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. I hope you enjoy it. When I try to stream this game on PC, I get... I get big chugs. Depending on what app I'm using. Depending on what program I'm using. So I find out that there is a program that lets me stream fairly easily. But I'm losing a lot of features. I lose out on a lot of features when I when I don't play, when I don't uh, use the the program that I usually use. But this program is allowing me to to play some PC games without losing a lot of performance, which which is why I'm using this. So, there's attack, and attack. We're about to come up on a cool moment here. I'm arisen. Good. So with this, I'm I'm still able to kind of get 60 frames per second on my on my end. Uh, I might chug a little bit on your end because because I am using my computer to stream and play at the same time, which is something they do not recommend ever. You should never use the same same computer. To stream and play games at the same time. But I got no choice. I like this game a lot, so. Let's go. Tessa Rift Stone. A stone etched with strange markings. It may be used to. Ah. Let's go. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> it just said, Who let the dogs out? Nice kitchen. Oh, what the? Take that. Oh, yeah. Good shit. We're gonna fall to certain death, but you jumped out there anyway. Ooh, pick that up. Green warish is good shit. I remember. Oh. Oh no. Look at this big ugly. Goblin! Goblin! A very ugly bird with some legs. Come on. A flying beast arisen. Where? Where? Let me jump across hole. Oh. Yeah, baby. Is a common goblin. Is a hobgoblin. I can't 
Can I grab this? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ah! So many goblins! Dark Souls, baby! Okay. Oh, oh, missed. Does this thing just fly right to fire? It hates fire, totally. And it just flew right at fire. Stupid thing. Hell yeah. This might be the way I have to do, um... Might be the way I have to do PC games from now on. Just from this. On Twitch. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I love the hole. I like the grab the button here. Okay. You got me what? Ah! Yeah! Oh. oh. The clipping. No! Smalling the shit out of him. Oh shit. Uh, let me get on there. You shall not cast. Uh, uh, let me get the tail. Let me get the tail. Let me get to the tail. Uh, cut the tail off. Cut the tail off. Yeah. yeah! Tail's gone. Get out of here. Oh. Oh no. Let's kill the goat. Silent the goat. Because this is the magic caster. This thing casts magic. Grab on! Grab on! No, grab on! Get up there! Get up there! Yeah! Destroy the head! Aim for the head! Hell yeah! There we go. Now it's just me and you. Oh, oh, you're so screwed. Oh crap! No! Oops. It's getting- Oh my god! No! Huh. Oh, I ran. Oh shit. Yeah, this thing is getting interesting. Yeah, this game starts on a high. Come on. Let's go. Oh crap. Wrong way. There you go. Oh shit. Come on, man. There you go. Oh, it's not dead yet. One more. I can't see shit. No. I think I killed it. Yeah. So I played this part of se I played this part several times. Or step Take hold of what lies beyond. Claim mastery over the eternal ring. Over the eternal ring.
delightful and, and ever novel pleasure of a useless occupation. Now this is weird because I'm seeing myself on screen so usually when you guys are seeing me on screen I'm not blocking my own view because I don't see it on my own screen. But this <laughs> this application is sticking my camera right in my game which is going to be annoying. Look at this badass dragon. Look at this badass dragon. I don't know, I think I might have to f kill this thing. Ho ho ho. So a couple of years later, this dragon comes out of the portal. Oh, wakes up! It awakes! And flies away. All these ugly birds. These are some ugly ass birds. They're like harpies or something. But there's some ugly har harpies too. That is ugly. My goodness. How do I do this? Man, I totally forgot about this part. I had a character all planned out last time and I forgot. I'm gonna make a female spellcaster. Just kick ass with her. A name I usually go with when I make my female characters, as always, is Uliana. And if the name is Uliana, I'm not going to use Konoha. Ula! <laughs> Una sounds good. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's see here. One seventy three, that's pretty tall. Sure, one seventy three it is, why not? Why not make her a tall lady? Let's go with number six again. Nice. I'm gonna go with that one. The non-symmetrical hair. The asymmetrical hair. Sorry, not non-symmetrical. Asymmetrical hair. Let's go with the redhead. Why not? Why not a redhead? I need her to be more calm. She's a spellcaster after all. She needs to she needs to have a calm mind. Oh my goodness, these are just high as hell. Okay, let's get let's get that going. Uh spacing a little further. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Large, why not? Why not? Even bigger. Sure. Okay, maybe not maybe not that big, but <laughs> red eyes to go with green eyes to go with red hair. How about some purple eyes? Blue eyes. Uh, let's give her some silver ass eyes. Those some piercing, piercing white eyes. Let's go with let's go with this cherry red. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the mouth could change. Those are some thick ass lips. Like looking like Jay Z out here. Some huge mouths. My goodness! Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some Jay Z right there. I think 39 might be looking pretty good. Let's do 39. We'll see. Let's keep it. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, 46. Okay, 46 it is. <laughs> now we don't need those angry ass barrows, okay? No one needs those angry brows. No one needs these sad brows either. Why are they so angry? Just be normal. 
Just be like normal human being. Okay, there you go. Let's do that. And then spacing wide. Why are we... What's with the spacing so wide? Oh, okay, no. Yeah, that... That, that looked like a uni brow. Okay. She has a beauty mark. Which I don't hate, so whatever. We'll leave it. I think we're done. I'm just gonna get going. <laughs> I'm just gonna get going. Alright. Hey, look! These kids surrounding me like I'm crazy. That's a that's some really fatty people with clothing. Some loose shirt. Looking pretty good. Face a little round, but what the hell? That's not what I saw. Fell beast. Looking pretty good, actually. But how come all her, how come her face is so round, like out here? That makes no sense. Her face was not this round in the editor. I want that face on the left. Okay, we're doing this again. Might have to redo this face, man. I'm not gonna lie. Oh! Dragon! Just lay waste to the city. <laughs> Some deadly white eyes there on this dragon. White eyes, red dragon, this thing right here. Oh, way to go. Way to go, knights. She's like, who can I get? I mean, I'm gonna get a sword. Let's go. Destroy this dragon. Uliana. Una for short. Oh my goodness, this guy's just burning people alive. Oh, dragon! I got you, dragon. Oh, what the? No! Oh. <laughs> That's a round face. Oh! She managed to pierce him. Like, oh, human, you hurt me, human. Now I will eat you. She's like, ah, hey, what am I? What's happening? Yeah, you too, man. I just noticed how her face is like squashed together completely. Oh my goodness. She's destroyed. Oh! The heart! Wait, what'd you say? What did you say about my mama? <laughs> She's like, ah! 
Are you my heart? Stop eating my heart. God damn it. Apparently my heart is candy. There you go. I really like this song. <laughs> She comes in and like, oh no, your heart is gone. Somehow she's still alive. Big ass scar on the chest. Her boobs defy gravity. And so does the shirt. Oh, if you would face me, eh? Take up arms, hey, now I can start to understand Draconic. So as I said, I didn't get far in this game, but I did get to here. I know there's three classes I can choose, and that's why I wanted to play a mage. So many games that you play the sword wielding, you know, warrior, the rogue with the two two knives, right? So few games let you just So few games let you just be the mage sometimes. Purely be the mage. And that's what I'll be doing today. Bang! Take on this vocation. I will take on this vocation. Yes, sir. Indeed, I will. You can equip yourself with primary and secondary weapon primary, such as daggers and swords and bows and shields. Oh! Fire! Take water, sure, I'll take water. So I got an empty flask and I can use the flask to get some water. I have no I have no idea why why you need to do that yet, but I'm guessing if they specifically make when they specifically make um a mechanic for that, you should just pay attention to it. Oh this guy's flying in the air. Her heart. She lives without a heart. Yes. Ill magic, the work of some curse. The whole world's already gone mad for fear of this dragon. Won't no good come with this. Ow. My back is not uh, bothering me a little bit. Kina. Okay, Kina. <gasps> You're awake. <laughs> I guess I completed a quest. You should be abed. I wish you would not strain yourself so. I should be abed. No, you should be abed. I worry for you, cause. Pick up the bucket. Pick up the broom. <laughs> Bethesda right here. <laughs> looking like... Looking like the Elder Scrolls, man. Thank you for saving my life. I'll break everything in your house. This is how I will repay you. Break everything in your house. Take all your ceramic jugs. You know what I mean? Take all your fruits. Thank you for all your food. You have been very generous, sir. I mean, ma'am. Taking everything. Thank you for saving my life. Bye. Bye. <laughs> very quaint little town. 
Casardus. Casardus. You progress through the game by completing quests. Always talk with the people you meet. Surely we have a lot to do. I'll take oil. Oh, I'm clipping through those. Yeah, I'll take more oil. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't have any more empty flasks, so I can't do it. Oh no! I have to move. I have to move my face. I must move my face because now I'm blocking my map. Oops, nope. <laughs> now I'm blocking the map. Blocking the map is not good because I need to see it. She's been so fast. Pretty fast for a magician. You know, something I don't want to do is actually hurt these people. Have you seen Cortez, cousin? I have not seen my brother since the dragon came. He's not among the injured either. Uh oh. Cuz I need a favor. Can you fetch the flowers I need from outside the village? Oh sure, sure. And one other sort besides. The more you can find, the better. Oh, brooms! More brooms and buckets. Absolutely what you need in a grand adventure. Oh, there's a chapel right here. I would not ask this of anyone but you, cousin. Uh, cousin? Why well, my cousin of everybody? I fear I cannot bring myself to face him. Will you go in my stead? This is the guy that said his brother was also in the field. Dead. It happened on the shore ways. We were fleeing the war <laughs> and he Cortez leapt before the beast talons to shield us. I saw him. Saw him hurtling through the air. Saw him fall back to the ground. Oh my goodness. Hardcore. I did nothing. Just watched the poor man die. You asshole. I cannot face Merin for the shame. And of you him. don't even have the balls to go I tell him. I don't know what happened, but I... Alvar. Please. Please go and tell Alvar, you go and tell him. You're in timeout. Merin was there. Please, cousin. You in time out, Alvar. I'm not everybody's cousin. Would that the prophecy had been a bit more specific, eh? What? What are you talking about? Record of the but why? Here's the father I needed to talk to. I talked to the wrong guy. Selfish to beg a favor in such times, I know. But there is aught I would ask your help in. Oh. Might we speak a moment? Sure. My thanks. This is a sensitive matter. I would ask your discretion. In the wake of the dragon's coming, many of the villagers have come to offer prayers. Okay. As a novice and a newcomer, I welcome the chance to be of use, but my scriptures are missing. His book is missing. Yet to commit the verses to memory. Without the text, I I cannot offer up a proper prayer. Man. The scriptures were secure in the chapel last I saw them. I do not wish to believe them stolen. If you come upon them, pray, see them back to me. I would be ever in your debt. Just ever in my debt? Okay. Oh. What do you what do you what do you want? Twas me. I confess it. I took the father's book from the chapel. No. I tried to go back and find the book. But I was in such a panic as I ran. I just wanted to look at it. Just cure Forgive me. I'd pop to steal a glance and then return it. But the dragon came and I I dropped it as I ran. Cor, what am I to say to him now? You asshole. Oh. Oh. Nice. Man, you look hideous. <laughs> oh. She's like, I feel it. That man you are speaking with, he's of the Pawn Legion. Pawn Legion. They come Ooh. from some unknown place. Just appear without a warning. <clears throat> They're a strange lot. Not human, quite. 
They look the part, sure enough, but they lack the will, the spark, what drives us. So these guys are husks. will not act alone. So they live as cell sorts. Myrmidons, they're called. Hmm. <sighs> There's an encampment west of the village where men gather to face the dragon. The dragon. I'd wager a fair number of his kind will be there as well. Why don't you take him? Might be you learn out of why he came to you in the first place. Okay. Before. If you say so, man. All right, let's go. What do you want? Purchasing equipment here in Cassidus will make for a safer trip to the encampment. So that's what makes this game so special. These pawns. Well, this one is uh, generated from the um, from the game, uh, and you get it, and you get this guy every time. But these guys are called called pawns, and this is how people kind of interact with other people in this game. There's no traditional co-op per se or traditional multiplayer. But um, later on, I will be able to I will be able to create my own pawn. Which can be sent out to other players, and whatever it, what and whatever adventures they go, he will go with another player. He will bring back whatever information he gathered or she gathered, and she'll bring it back to me. So when I get to that mission, I'll get some tips and tricks and and, and how to solve some of these things. Because now I have an information advantage. Now we're about to set out on our adventure. Really, I gotta go to bed because I'm getting very sleepy and I'm, I'm making no sense right now. So, if you're still around, thank you so much for watching. Anybody who's watching this later, uh, thank you for watching as well. This is Jeff signing off from DF Gaming. If you take a look right above me, there's our link. Follow us on Twitter at Instagram at D underscore underscore gaming. This is Jeff signing off from DF Gaming. We'll see you next time. Much love. Bye bye.